Hey guys, it's Tiffany from zebrachick.net and I'm going to teach you guys literally how to go from this, which is just a cutout, into a cutout with what we call a zigzag gradient backdrop, I guess you could call it. First, all I did on here, like literally I cut out my image for this one right here, the one on the left. I cut it out. Then I took it and I outlined it, okay, with the three stroke, which is a stroke, um, a dotted line in four, gradient in three, and color in, or white in two. And then I just added color to her shirt to match the theme. Just like I have a tutorial on it, you can look for how to add gradient to clothing or whatever it's called. I think that's what it's called. Okay, let's get started. But, okay. In the end, it will turn out just look just like this, and it's really, really simple. Okay. First, you start with this. Okay. But normally, you would do this already on the sign. I just don't want to sit here and make a whole new sign. Like, let's see if I still have it. Like, literally, it will look like that at the end. Like, pretty much. Just one of my signs that I have made, and that is Killing Lutz, if you don't know. So basically, you'll be doing it on top of one of these, normally. Okay. So here's what you do. First, after you have that open, or already on the sign, go to Layer, New Layer. Go to your Polygonic, that's what I use. Well, first drag that layer underneath of the cutout. Go to, like, Polygonic, or poly whatever it's called and just literally with it go point by point don't let it go and just start making a bunch of like random zigzag like triangle shapes around the cutout or the person whatever you want to call it I'm gonna just say like how I'm doing it around Selena because that is obviously if you didn't know Selena Gomez it's from one of my um celebrity pings that I will be putting up in a little while okay so you're just literally going around just like I'm doing, cutting it out or diagonaling it until you're all the way around her or the person. Okay, now on that tool over here, you would come down to the photo bucket and fill it in with any, whatever's selected, like white, anything will work, it doesn't really matter. Now you would come to the bucket again, right click it and go to gradient. And normally, your gradient probably look like this. Okay. So, where's my color scheme? Hold on. Go back real quick. Okay, there's my color scheme. Like I said, gradient. Click up here. There's Mine's already selected. Literally, to get it to match, you would just do, like, blue, yellow, first, third, fourth. And then it's going to look like that. Okay. Now, you'd come to, like, the corner of the cutout. Make sure it still has the dotted line. Make sure you did not deselect it. And then come around it, drag it. So you have it behind it, right? Okay. Now make sure it's still done. Go to layer, new layer. So I like to do it. Then you would come over to the brush tool and find a brush that has like anything. Like I'm just going to use stars. Okay, you can use stars. You can use Lately, I've been doing peace signs. You could do anything before this. I'm going to use stars. You just literally start clicking them, putting them in random ass spots. Okay, keep going until you fill it in how you want it. Okay, that's good enough for me. While you're still in that new layer, the one with the brushes, I like to make it look like it's a little drop shadow to it, kind of. So you would, hold on, you'd bring your layer up, go to the thing with this FX if you have your layer window up, or you can actually right click it and then go to blending options. Yeah, you could do it that way, or you can right click like I just did and go to drop shadow. When you're in there, make the distance zero, the angle 90. And I like to make the size um, between 3 and 4 so it doesn't look too much. Okay, and then I'd come back over here where it says Opegacy. You can make it bright. It depends how you want to. Like, you can make it 
as light as that if that's how you like it I'm just gonna make it like 90% so it's not fully white it's just like a little white okay now come back down to the one that's right there like the one where you added the gradient and right click if you want hit blending options and then stroke I like to make mine the same as I said for the PSD thing I like to make it pattern do a dotted line make it pattern four drop shadow zero zero seven okay then you would duplicate that layer just right click duplicate then you would come back to stroke again this time make the stroke like three instead of pattern make it gradient and then do the gradient just like you did before where the colors match it okay now you'll see it has two basic strokes around it now you duplicate it again and then this time make it number two color you can do it black like if you like some people I see do it that way I like mine white so you just two and then, then white and now you can deselect it and you see you have it literally that's done you can see it's basically the same way it's just the colors I did on it a little different okay if you have any questions feel free to ask me it wasn't literally that hard all it is is zigzag cut out around it gradient and duplicating that's pretty much all it is and it's really quick and like I said you could just start doing a sign like I'm just gonna mess with it like whoa got the white behind it and I could literally start adding like where's one of my brushes Ooh. as you can see I have a lot of brushes we're not trying to load um, like if you're doing a preppy, like, I'm not saying to do this, but if you were, it'd be like that. I hope it was black. Okay. Whatever, you get the point. I was just letting you know, okay. And say you wanted to do a separate, because I know a lot of people, like I'm going to exit this one. A lot of people do do this separate, and you wanted to put it on your sign, you would just go to layer, merge, and now all of this is movable. So you could easily drop it onto your sign whatever your sign is okay I hope you guys understood it literally like I just said if you have any questions please just ask me and if you hear like a shh noise it's because it is 11 o'clock here and it's already 87 degrees so you're hearing either fans or air conditioning sorry can't help that but okay bye don't forget if you do do this to tag me and to comment below or on the right side in the C box because I like to see your guys' stuff that you actually do make. All right. Okay, bye guys.